I'm Pierce Campbell and this is my wife Helen. Uh, we have a 14 year old son, McCall, who uh, was diagnosed with Smith McGinnis syndrome uh, thanks to the good work of the Greenwood Genetic Center. Uh, Smith McGinnis syndrome is a uh, genetic developmental uh, disorder uh, that causes uh, behavioral and developmental issues uh, in children uh, that uh, last throughout their lifetime. We knew from almost the beginning of McCall's life that something wasn't quite right with him uh, physically and developmentally. Um, he faced uh, a lot of struggles. Um, he was delayed in almost everything from talking to walking. Um, a lot of difficulty with communication um, and those things as he got to be two and three and four years old led to a significant amount of frustration on his part. Um, and that frustration often uh, then exhibited itself through bad behaviors, terrible behaviors, tantrum behaviors, um, trying to you know, hit us and, and sisters uh, and really um, struggling. Uh, and we, as you know, we didn't know what was wrong, didn't know how to best treat this. And so everything that we tried uh, failed basically for, for a lot of years. Um, and so we knew, as we said early, that there was an issue, and so we actually did some genetic testing um, and didn't get any results uh, that were helpful at that time. Uh, and then several years went by, and we were encouraged to do the testing again uh, because the technology had advanced so much. There were so many new things that Greenwood Genetic Center and others were learning uh, that we were encouraged to uh, try again, and so we did. Uh, and that time uh, we got the diagnosis and that really allowed us to uh, change the way we focused on him uh, and get him the help he needed. And thanks to the great work that the Greenwood Genetic Center provided us and their research in determining that he had a mutation that had never been seen before they were able to deliver us the news that we had been searching for for seven years, which was um, a diagnosis. And with that diagnosis, we got answers to many of the struggles and challenges that we've been facing in trying to give him the best care and the best treatment possible in order to help him live the best life possible. And so we will forever be grateful to the Greenwood Genetic Center for what they gave us that day. And getting that diagnosis from such a world-class center uh, right here in South Carolina uh, opened doors uh, across the state to doctors uh, and medical professionals that we needed and across the country. Um, and so uh, one member of the Greenwood Genetics team that really uh, helped us a lot uh, at the beginning was Katie Drasba. Absolutely. I literally walked into the Florence Clinic and had wished I'd paid more attention in life science in high school. Um, she just was amazing. The genetic counselors just do such an amazing job taking such complex and truly such higher level information and breaking it down so that the average parent who has not dealt with any of this kind of thing or you know does not on a daily basis ever talk about these concepts can walk out of there feeling like they can now explain exactly what it is that they have just been told is now going on with their, their child and feel confident that they understand that. And um, there's power in that. There's power in them being able to go into any doctor's office and share exactly what it is that your, chi your child's exact genetic story. Um, and, you know, I've always said that for so long my son was nonverbal. he is verbal now, but um, you know, as his voice for, for many years, you, you feel that pressure that it's up to you to get it right. And so Katie 
gave me the words that then I could go and share with the people that needed to hear them. And as a mother, there's just no greater gift than to feel like um, you are giving your child the voice that they need to be able to share with the world what they need, to, they need the world to hear and um, getting the right information to the right people so then they can get the right care and treatment. Um, that was just a very powerful moment for me and it, it made me finally feel like I could be the advocate that my son required and deserved. So with McCall, um, we were trying everything, um, treatments and therapies and uh, medications and um, Helen left no stone uh, unturned uh, trying to find out how to help him um, and we really just never made any progress. Nothing ever got better, ever. And once we had the Smith-McGinnis diagnosis, um, one, it was such a relief just to know what we were dealing with. But two, then every step we took after that we made a little bit of progress and made a little bit more progress and made more progress. Uh, and so then, I, I know Helen felt this way and I did too, we could see the, the benefit of the, the work we were doing to try to help him because now it was actually working. Now it was making a difference in his life uh, instead of just running into roadblock after roadblock. Greenwood now has so many exciting new options to offer people which is why I'm so thrilled um, to be able to just continue to tell people about Greenwood Genetics because I hope that more and more people don't have to feel that way again where the last resort is just trying medication after medication when you don't even know really what you're treating um, because that is an awful way to, to, to go about it because you see these medicines negatively affecting your child and, and then of course the aftermath of that and the effect it has on the family and the child itself, himself or herself and it's very upsetting. It's emotionally draining, it's physically draining, um, it, it's hard to stay positive and hopeful when you're going about it that way. Um, that you'll ever find something that truly helps them um, because obviously there's just it's, you're going into it blind and so um, that's what is so hopeful about what Greenwood is now doing and offering with um, so many of their programs that um, really are designed at getting to the root cause of you know un previously unknown or undiscoverable developmental delays or developmental situations in children where um, you don't have to go about it like that anymore and they truly can help you discover um, what's at the bottom of, of what you're seeing so that then your treatments can be tailored to specifically address the actual cause. Um, and so it just changes everything. Something that everybody notices about him is he's never met a stranger and he has a way of connecting with anyone he meets and it touches people in just ways that they aren't accustomed to being touched. And so as a parent, to get to watch that is just the greatest gift because he literally leaves little rays of sunshine wherever he goes. And he, he likes to go to the grocery store uh, with me sometimes. And uh, we've gotten to where now uh, I'll just go start shopping uh, and he takes a tour around the store uh, talking with the uh, staff and the cashiers. He knows when they're gonna remodel the store, how long it's gonna take, that they've moved the cereal to a different aisle. and and he'll come report all of this back to me so that, so that I'll know. And uh, just, uh, he, he has a way of, of kind of breaking down those barriers. social barriers that we all put up uh, around ourselves and, and between others. Um, 
those just don't really exist for him. Right. Uh, and it's a, it's a joy to watch. The joy that he seems to get out of life and the joy that they, he brings them. And um, so, you know, it, it has been, he, he has taught us much more than we have taught him. That's for sure. That is for sure.